Hello everyone, this is Lolly. I'm really excited to share this with you today. These are tabbed paper clips. As you can see, they are hidden clips that you, that's completely hidden, even on the inside. I know you can't really see in there too well, but even the inside is covered. So I want to share with you how to do this. I was inspired by a video where I saw she had done them but um, I wanted to do my own way, uh, come up with my own way of making them. And I am using a scoreboard. So what you're going to need to do these, two inch paper clips, which are called jumbo clips, a, a permanent adhesive and a, a paper adhesive. And then if you want, you could just use zip dry instead of both of these, but this really does have an odor. And if you're not uh, comfortable with that, you might want to stick with these two. And any uh, Distress inks that you want, plus you're going to need a piece of cardstock. I would go for a lighter weight cardstock. This is printed out, this right here. This is a printed uh, image right there. I'm using Nina Exact Index 110 pound. The thicker it is, the more difficult it is to get the desired effect. Stay tuned because I'm going to show you more paperclip options at the end. So the first thing you want to do is get your scoreboard out. Now the nine inches needs to be this way, okay? It's not nine this way, it's nine inches this way and it does not matter how long it is as long as it is at least one and a half inches wide, okay? So we're going to do all of these at the same time. And I have played and played, you can see from this image here, I've played a lot with my measurements trying to get this exactly how I wanted it. Now, if you have um, a unilateral design like words and you want to have a paper clip that is this way or an image like this llama and you want the paper clip to be on the top, then turn it so that uh, this is the top of your image. I've got ink on my fingers. So we're gonna put this in there. We're going to score it at two four and a half, eight and a quarter. Now we're not done. We're going to take it and flip it up and score it one more time at six and a half. Now what we have, I know you can't see this, but we've got these score lines right in here. With the score lines left and right, we're going to cut these into one and a half inch strips you can make them wider. I don't recommend making them narrower because it makes it hard to seal your paper around the paper clip. So let's cut that. And now we have that. We have these scores on here. And if you remember in your scoring, valleys become mountains. So if you look right here, you see how that is recessed? That's a valley. That's going to become a mountain. I fold away. I fold away. This one is a mountain, so that becomes a valley. I fold toward me, and then this one is a valley, becomes a mountain. So this is the shape we have, and I'd like you to turn it this way so that this looks like a C. I think of it almost as a capital G. And when it's that way, this corner here is what the paper clip is going to go around. And it does help to have something to burnish with. If you don't have that, you can use like a ruler or something to kind of smooth that out and corner rounder is optional. I like the one half inch. I just think it makes a really, really cute paper clip and I'll show you the difference before and after. And so this is, excuse me, I showed you when it's this way, this is where the paper clip is going to go and then it's going to go up. This is going to go down, up, up, down, up. So now you know where to round your corners. Definitely the two top and the two bottom, but I'm going to separate these just like that. And then this in the back. You don't need to round this one, and it could cause you problems actually if you do round those, so just saying. Okay, so I am going to use the peacock feathers to distress the edges, and this is totally optional. Alrighty. Now, uh, you can decorate the front. So remember, if you find this, think of it as an upside down V, just like your paper click. Now I'm gonna open this up to show you what this is going to look like. You see how that's an upside down V, but one, one leg is shorter than the other. That's what this is. And it's going to go right in the middle right there. 
I could do the paper clip and assemble it, but then it will be a little bumpy. So if I want to add paper, I might want to consider doing that now. Now I did these, I think these are kind of fun. We do have a theme for our paperclip group, and the theme for March is bicycle. So I thought this might be kind of fun. And then I did the word spokeswoman. Well, one thing I need to do is make sure that these are one and a half inch wide. Okay, I might want to make that a little shorter. That and the word spokesman, spokeswoman also needs to be one and a half inch wide. And I think these are definitely going to need some of this. Okay, so now we have that. Remember, I need to look this so it's an upside down V, this little flap in the back. Oh yeah, that's going to really help. Use our paper glue. This is barely art. I think I might want to put this a little, I'm going to leave a little space here. It's hard for me to get that straight because this uh, plaid there is uh, quite crooked. Okay, now in order to assemble this, you want to get a paper clip. We're going to look inside where we have the paper clip. Remember I said, if you make it like a C, this is where the paper clip goes. And you can see that the front is shorter than the back. So that's the way I'm going to put this on there. Here's where the power tack comes in play. Um, there are many adhesives, but you do want one that's going to hold metal and power tack is your go-to. And because the front is shorter, I'm gonna put the shorter loop of the paper clip down on that, shove it down, because we don't want it sw swinging side to side. Next we're going to do is flip it to the back and glue all of this here. You need three of these wide ones. Fold that up and now is when you want to make sure left and right that it lines up because it's easy to get it a little off. Now we're going to glue all of this and the sides. I do not need to nor want to go around anywhere where there's power tack. We don't need to apply two adhesives to the same spot. Now we're gonna fold that down, line up left and right. Now I can either glue this whole flap and put it up or I can glue the sides and make it a little pocket. I'm going to glue the whole thing. Line it up. This is where your clips come. You need one on the, each side, on either side of the paper clip. And then you need one on the top so that it seals the paper to paper right above where the paper clip is on the inside. Okay, so we're gonna let that set. And while that's setting, I wanna talk about some tips and show you the various styles that I have here. So let's pull these out so that you can see. It's important to note that these are so strong that I wouldn't put these on very, very frail paper like uh, your Bible, for instance. And the way you put it in, see how the back is, um, it's, it's shorter than the front, you just slide it in. You can just feel it. I slide it until I feel that catch and I slide it in. So these ones were made to come off the right side of the page. This is the one and a half inch like I already showed. This is a one and three quarter. And I just put two little notches. Let me zoom in here. I put two notches on either side and I wound this gold thread around it and tied it. Love the look here. This Lucky is a die from a set from Elizabeth Craft Designs. And I cut that out and then I also use the letters to put them right here. Now this is a Tim Holtz sticker, but all of these, I have made these words myself using the font that I will give you across the screen right now. That's the name of this particular font. And I want to show you, I said how much I really like the rounded, uh, the, using the half inch. Look at the difference between that and this one. I just think that is so cute. And I think that would look really cute if all of the tabs were that way. But on the other hand, I also like having them all look different. So these have squared corners and I used one of the We Are Memory Keepers uh, corner rounders. This one, I actually, I don't know if you could see from, the, from that side, it's that Euro hook punch. So it's round at the top and then, but the problem is that this does, it goes so low 
that you can actually see a little bit of the paper clip showing through. So I ran the rickrack right across there to kind of cover that up a little bit. These are just paper pieced. These I didn't add any paper to, but you can see the paper piecing. That's just a sticker. I'm adding buttons and I'm adding rhinestones and flat back pearls. Um, this is another one of the specialty rounded corners. You're going to be going through several layers of paper, so sometimes you want to make sure that you have, that's what I like about the corner chompers, is that you can really get into really thick materials right there. Let's take this off. Now, if you want to add words here, I just type them out, and then all I have to do is cut them up. If I want to do that, I could just use scissors or to get the kind of generic look or I could use it on a trimmer. There you go. So you could do that, and that way when it's in your book, it is shown. And I could use, let's use this one here. I just think it helps it to show up better on the paper. Please take a moment to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already here. I do a lot of videos on paper clips. I have other hidden paper clip tutorials and I do at least one a month. So this is the one for March, and I think you are really going to love playing with these. Also, once you have made the one paper clip like this, you just keep slicing off one and a half inch segments, and you can keep on making paper clips because they're already scored. Love it, and I'm thinking with this, one other thing we could do would be to accentuate the hubs of the tires there. So let's use these. Now, you know, if you've been with my channel very long, you know that I'm very particular about my adhesives. So paper adhesives for paper, that's the Barely Art glue. Power tag for paper clips, Fabri-Tac for fabric. Those are my favorite go-to adhesives. And my next favorite adhesive is the Gem Tac, which is going to help us to glue these gems on there. Just put a little dot in the middle of each spoke. Now, I am usually careful, I will tell you, about putting thick embellishments on the middle of the paper clip because they're going in the middle of a page. Usually I put them up here, but I just decided I wanted to do this this time. These are not that thick. I don't think they'll cause me much grief. And the bicycle just seems to need it. Okay, so there you have it. Love it. You can see how I put the uh, rhinestones on the tops of the other ones there, and it really is a good place for it. So thank you for watching. Below this video, I'm going to give you a link to all of my paperclip videos, and I'm going to give you a link to your supplies, links, and I'm also going to give you a link to the paperclip art group on Facebook.